160,000 students stay home from school every day because of bullying. I personally can relate to what it feels like to be bullied because I've been there. Social media and technology have provoked new types of bullying called cyberbullying, slut shaming, and happy slapping. These antics can be more hurtful than a black eye. Prevention starts when people choose to take action and help spread awareness. So it's time for us to take action now. Let's begin. You know all the questions you ask the internet because you're too scared to say them out loud? Well, it's time to stop being afraid and start talking. Relationships, college, jobs, celebrities, social issues, and sex. Then we'll get into the taboo stuff. The Chelsea Cross Show, a fresh take on talk. My first guest is extremely passionate about bullying amongst teenagers and millennials. Editor-in-chief of Seventeen Magazine, Anne Choquette, sat down with me to talk about their Delete Digital Drama campaign. Let's take a look. Can you tell us what the Delete Digital Drama campaign is all about? Delete Digital Drama is Seventeen's anti-bullying campaign. But the turn of phrase that's used so often, cyberbullying, just doesn't connect with teenagers today. The, you know, cyber sounds so retro in 90s, and bullying sounds like eight-year-olds pushing each other around mm -hmm. on the ground, on the playground. And it doesn't, it doesn't connect with the real damage that teenagers feel from the constant barrage of bullying on their digital networks, on their Facebook, on their Twitter, on their Tumblr. And we want to give teens the power to delete, to stop the bullying, to not participate. And it's a really simple idea. If you delete it, it can't hurt you. How has Seventeen seen the evolution of cyberbullying just because of their readers, it f you know, feedback from the problem? As everybody's social networks got bigger and more important in their lives, as your phone became more ubiquitous, sort of with you all the time, the, the opportunity for bullying just increased. And girls can be incredibly mean to each other. And it was something that we needed to address. Girls were telling us these stories of feeling alone and vulnerable and attacked and scared, and it was affecting their lives in such dramatic ways. I mean, we've all heard the terrible stories of bullying that has led to suicide. It upsets me so much that the idea of suicide is even on the table for something like this. And when you think about how desperate those teens must have felt, it was a real call to action for Seventeen. How can we help teenage girls through this incredibly complicated time in their life? Do you still get surprised after working with the magazine for several years, the stories that these young girls are willing to share? Because some of them are really painful. I am honored that teenage girls are able to open up to Seventeen and to share their most private, most personal stories. The real danger is that these scary stories of bullying become normal. That we think that this is just a regular part of being a teenager and what's the big deal and that we don't pay attention to them. And that's, that's the part that Seventeen really needs to attack head on. 82% of our readers said that they felt a responsibility to stop bullying, to stop digital drama. And to me that's incredibly important. It's not just Seventeen saying that this is important. It's girls saying this is important to them and they want to help. How is Seventeen Magazine influencing their readers to stop the bullying? This year's campaign, we tapped major stars with huge social networks. And that was really important to us. Um, Kat Graham from The Vampire Diaries, Bridget Mendler, who's got a major song out now, Ariana Grande, who's about to have a new television show. Have they ever experienced any sort of cyberbullying that made them want to advocate for the cause? These are girls who live their lives online. They have huge social followings. Girls look up to them, and they are our Delete Digital Drama ambassadors, and they bring the campaign to life. They reached out to their fans, they're wearing the Delete Digital Drama t-shirt, they're posting the badge on their Facebook page, and they're telling girls, look, this happens to me too. They feel attacked very often online. They've had to learn how to deal with it, but their strength is incredibly inspirational to our readers. How can you download the badge for Twitter or Facebook and then also get this beautiful Delete Digital Drama shirt? The t-shirts are in partnership with Nanette Lepore at JCPenney. It's L'Amour at JCPenney. And so um, that was really important for us to have this great fashion statement about Delete. You want to show the world 
how cool it is to delete digital drama. So anybody can buy the t-shirt at jcpenny.com. The badge is something that you can um, go to 17.com forward slash delete and put a badge on your social network to show the world, to show your friends, to show the bullies that you're not gonna take it and this is your stance, you're gonna delete the digital drama. As a strong and very successful woman that a lot of people look up to, especially teenagers and young women, what are your words of wisdom for those who are victims of bullying? It's so hard to say, it's, to say it'll get better, that doesn't help you now. And you need something in the moment that's gonna remind you that you are worthy and that the drama and the bullying is not about you and who you are. And so it sounds, I don't want it to sound pat, but, it, but it's important to find someone who believes in you and to listen to them when they tell you that you're amazing and awesome and not to believe the people who are trying to tear you down, but to have, to open your heart and your mind and your soul to someone who is trying to build you up. I feel like I have come so far. I've been the teenage girl who felt unpretty who felt um, different and alone and weird and unsupported. And I feel like I, um, what, however I learned, I don't even know how I learned that those messages were not okay and that those messages weren't real and I, I, that I had the control to not let those messages affect me. I feel like I still have to use those in my life today. I do not make this magazine about me, right? This is not about me, this is about teenage girls. I'm a, I, I, but I understand what these girls have gone through and I feel tremendous empathy um, for this time in their life and about how hard it is. And you know, you have different, different challenges throughout your entire life, but getting it right now sets you up for a tremendous success to come. You will always have people who are uh, doubters of your dreams, right? There's nothing worse than somebody who says, I don't really think that you can do that. I'm not, I don't believe in you. There's nothing worse than that. And um, learning how to be in control of your own self-worth is one of the things that's, that you're gonna have to go back and le learn and learn and learn and learn and learn for the rest of your life. I love that, recognizing your self-worth. Thank you. And Choquette uses Seventeen Magazine as a vehicle to spread awareness and empower young girls with the Delete Digital Drama community. If you haven't already, check out my website to see how you can download the Delete Digital Drama badge for your social media profiles. Let's spread the word.